Hello guys, this is Vig here again. I'm back with another video and this time we're going to be covering the best players to sign for under 1 million and they're going to be all 80 plus potential and I'm going to be covering at least two players in every position so you guys can actually choose which players you actually want. Um, some of them are going to be like around close to 1 million and some going to be cheaper so anyways let's just actually get into it. Another thing I forgot to mention, all these players are great for RTG teams but anyway first of all guys we have Chad Sagrival playing for Dortmund right now, in my save that is but he doesn't really play for Dortmund, I think he's a free agent from Cyprus. Press six foot one. His reactions are kind of weak. Forty eight but sixty three reflex. After that, we move on to the Spanish goalkeeper Juan, six foot two, eighty jumping. So he's going to be really good in corner situations. Really good goalkeeping stats. After that, we have Boyce Clark from England, six foot. Not really that tall for a goalkeeper, but again, he's more like a distribution keeper with like sixty three kicking, and obviously that could all improve with training. He's like the cheaper option from the lot, as you can see, five hundred and fifty k. Juan is close to a million seven hundred and seventy five, and this homeboy six hundred and fifty k. Moving on to the defenders we have the first full back he can play right wing back and right back as you can see five foot six decent pace also technically 61 ball control decent defending stats as well after that we have Pascozzi the Estonian right back physically you know decent stats they're pretty much amber and orange and tackling stats 61 and 62 his value is 550k and Madsen's value is 825 probably gonna be a million when you get it moving on to the first 17 year old van der Berg Homeboy is 575k but he's 6 foot 3 so he's going to be really good and with them jumping stats 74 you're going to be winning a lot of aerial duels with the high end with the jumping and everything he's going to be over but I can just tell and it's kind of cheap as well after that we move on to Kalyaropoulos playing for Olympiakos 6 foot 2 you already know they produce great players especially Greek talents 74 jumping really decent and good defending stats once again 63 after that we have Collins German centre back 6 foot 2 again guys 86 pace probably the best centre back to get from this list strength jumping you name it you just gotta improve his technical and defending stats and that's it collins guys is also 625k after that we have the french 17 year old center back six or three color bali guys you already know anyone with the name color bali is a beast because it reminds me of kaladu 75 jumping once again he's going to be winning a lot of aerial duels 65 stand tackling and 66 slide tackling Moving on to the first left back, we have Edgar Oliveira, 70 in both pace, 65 dribbling, so he's going to be like one of the left backs that's going to be crossing the ball in and kind of like an attacking fullback. After that, we have Apostolos, Apostolopoulos, I mean, we have Apostolopoulos, holy shit, 5'9", 83 sprint speed and 85 acceleration, dribbling is really good and ball control. Two players, guys, from Olympiakos, double swoop, you guys already know. His value is 825k, which is kind of close to a million, like I said, and 700k for this homeboy as well. Also, for Kulabali, in case I have mentioned, 725k. Moving on to the first CDM, we have Metinho from DP Congo, 675k value, 5 foot 10, decent height, physically is kind of decent as well, the only bad thing is strength and balance is really peak, 50 and 49, also never take long shots with this guy, 39 long shots, that's really bad, at least technically he's got 65 ball control and 63 dribbling, so you can actually progress with this guy, and 66 short passing, so it's not too bad, along with the defending stats. After that we have Russell Indaye, 19 years old from France, again 5 foot 10, decent physically, 71 sprint speed, 71 action. 74 balance pretty much all of it is like orange or yellow but technically guys you gotta improve his defending stats moving on we have this guy 17 years old right mid 550k from canada it's gonna be really cheap when you get him really decent pace 86 acceleration decent ball controlling and dribbling likewise for this guy 875k nearly close to a million his pace isn't as good as the other guy moving on to the first center mid we have the french guy 17 years old so a lot of room for growth with that hair you already know homeboys like rabio again he's close to the 70s it's 67 ball control 65 dribbling short passing and long really good so i'd actually recommend him playing for leo right now 700k after that we have another 17 year old warren bondo 5 foot 10 physically he's a beast for his age because he's pretty much green and yellow and everything and the first center mid with 71 dribbling and 69 ball control he's definitely worth it after that we have starsinski the 17 year old polish left mid 81 pace 81 sprint speed 62 dribbling and 61 ball control it's not too bad and he's 850k and another option that we can get is bar 570 75k and he is rapid guys 83 sprint speed and 87 acceleration and moving on to the best central attacking mid that you can get 85 potential the belgian central attacking mid physically is decent 75 agility 70 dribbling and 60 short passing so all this could be better and his value 675k after that we move on to nakai central attacking mid four star skills and weak for really good on a camp he's not really that fast but the good thing about him passing wise and technical like dribbling ball control is really good as you can see high 60s and obviously it's going to be kind of expensive his wages are kind of higher than the other players and also he's 875k the cheaper option is Grimaldo 725k but he's 5 foot 9 physically he's better but technically
technically he's an as good as Nakayo, the other guy, but 65 ball control, 63 dribbling and 65 short passing, key stats ain't that bad. And moving on to the only centre forward that we're going to have, 85 potential, no 84 potential, 5 foot 7, the Italian centre forward, 85 sprint speed, he's going to be a beast, you can convert him to a left mid or a striker. But his finishing isn't that great, 55, obviously guys, you know what I'm going to say, with training that's going to be even higher. 550k, not too bad. Moving on to the forwards, we have the first right winger, Yaya Torre, nah it's not the centre mid, 130 weekly wages which is nothing, also 86 sprint speed and 90 acceleration, definitely get this guy. After that we have Poku, the Dutch right winger, 4 star weak foot, again 90 pace, 91 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, I'd definitely get him because of that pace. Moving on to the strikers we have Gibral Torre from Guinea, 4 star weak foot, the best thing with this guy, look at that pace, 85 sprint speed, 89 acceleration, agility balance really good and finishing dribbling, ball control, shot power, penalties, this guy is the perfect striker that you can get and he's only 675k from Watford. Also guys, Polku's value is 875 but I definitely recommend getting Yaya Torre instead. Next up we have Sangbin from Korea Republic, again the pace is really good, 85 sprint speed which is my kind of player to play with, 61 finishing, dribbling's really good, pretty much all orange, he's 19 and he's 900k. Next up we have Brad Young, 875k playing for Villa right now, 82 pace, not as fast as the other guys but still really good because he's got like 77 agility, 62 finishing. Moving on we have Ricky J Jones, this guy's been in pretty much all the videos since FIFA 18 for the best under 1 million players playing for Peterborough United right now 18 years old 6 foot you guys know his pace 92 most of you guys probably used him by now moving on we have Salazar this guy is not really that fast because he's 54 sprint speed which many of you guys may get put off and also his value is 575k but the thing with him he's got 70 finishing so that's the only good thing about this guy moving on to the final two left wingers we have Raul Moro the Spanish left winger he's not really that fast 68 sprint speed but technically he's decent dribbling 69 68 ball control to be honest i'd probably convert him to a center forward because he's got like a center forward type of stats because down the wing guys you need definitely more pace and also he hasn't got four star skills or anything he's two star skill moves, which is kind of peak last but not least guys we have lagze playing for pek zuala the same club hachi must do went to if you guys remember the dead talent but anyways he's an actual left winger because he's got 80 sprint speed 84 acceleration look at that dribbling 72 and 67 ball control i'll definitely get him because his value is 875k it's the same as Raul Moro but I definitely prefer that option because he's faster but that's it for this video guys all these players like I mentioned 80 plus potential some of them are 83 85 and hope you guys enjoyed the video if I've missed anyone please do let me know in the comment section but that's it for this video guys thanks for watching take care stay safe and peace out